and welcome to Something Edible. When I'm making snacks, when I entertain people, they most of the time they have to pass a certain kind of litmus test. And it's like, if you're having a beer, are these snacks going to taste good with a beer or other cocktail? You, you pick your poison. But you get the idea. You know, you want to, if you're going to be serving snacks, you want to make sure that they, uh, they're going to taste good after you've had a couple. And uh, so that's, that's how I make snacks. I, when I was looking around one day trying to find uh, something decent to uh, put out on a spread, I went back to one of my uh, many uh, cookbooks that I keep. This is another little piece of uh, cultural history from uh, Hayes, Kansas. Uh, this is from a uh, place that used to make uh, like medical supplies and they're not around anymore. But uh, before the place uh, left town, the uh, people that work there left behind this cookbook and I got a copy of it. And uh, about page three, there's a recipe for a what they call a salmon party ball. And by itself, it looks pretty good, but it needed just a little bit of help, as all uh, community cookbook recipes do. So uh, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you how to throw these ingredients together to make your own salmon party ball. And they go great with a good beer. All right, this recipe isn't that technical, but we do need a little bit of prep going on here. And I've got three green onions that uh, I'm going to uh, cut the uh, very ends off of. Those don't taste good. And then we're going to uh, dice these up pretty fine because we're going to just dump these into the mix later. We're going to start with one can, 14 and a half to 16 ounces of uh, flaked salmon. Probably want to get the bones out just to get the uh, texture nice. I like red salmon for this or sockeye salmon but I don't have any right now, so pink it is. So we're gonna add our uh, diced onion to that. And you'll wanna, if I didn't say it already, you're gonna wanna drain that salmon as well. We're also going to add two teaspoons of prepared horseradish. This is my stuff right here. If you'd make your own, it's gonna be so much better. You might even have to double it up to taste the horseradish if you don't do your own. Um, you're also gonna wanna add a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. I'm using mesquite. Um, use whatever you want. You like hickory better? You got some other funky liquid smoke? You can do that. Well, the original recipe also didn't call for salt and boy howdy does it need salt. I would say two teaspoons but if you feel like that's too much salt start with a teaspoon and the next time you make it decide if you need to go up or not. Also, you're going to cut that salt a little bit with, uh, with uh, some lemon juice. And uh, we're going to add two tablespoons there. And now we're going to stir this stuff together to get it to uh, integrate and season. Notice we haven't added uh, anything to bind this yet. That's the cream cheese. That's coming. So we're going to uh, stir this up. Let it kind of let the flavors kind of meld together. You could go do something else if you wanted to while you waited for these to come together. It's uh, you know, the longer you let it set before you add everything, the more adjusted those flavors are going to get. This is good and seasoned. I'm ready to add some cream cheese to this. I'm going to add a uh, a whole thing of cream cheese here, a whole package, eight ounces. And you know what? Go. Use the full fat stuff for this. You could use the light cream cheese, but I don't think I would. You also want to make sure that it's plenty softened. Um, you know, room temperature would be good in this situation just to get it, to make sure that it stays mixed or integrates quickly. I mean, that's really what you want here. It's starting to come together it's just about there. All right. So, this is pretty loose now, and what we need to do is we need to shape it. And the way we're going to shape it here is with a bit of plastic wrap. And the recipe says salmon party ball, I know, but uh, I like a log better. So I think it's just easier to get at. 
Um, I like to cover this thing in pecan, so you know everybody gets some pecan. It's a surface area thing, you know. You got less, you got more surface area. You put more pecans on there. You wad it into a ball. You got less surface area to put pecans on, you know. So just shape accordingly. So lay this out on some plastic wrap. All right, and with it on the plastic wrap, we can kind of tuck it into a uh, tuck it into a log here. If you've ever rolled sushi, it's kind of the same concept. Only you're doing a plastic wrap and not uh, not seaweed. Don't get too particular about it. It'll firm up and. Uh, Doesn't have to be perfect. We're pretty close there though. I'm actually gonna stick this in the, uh, you can stick this in the fridge or the freezer. I'm gonna hurry this along, so I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for just a little bit to get it to firm up. And when it firms up, we can uh, add the nuts. Whoop. Look at that. All right, we're cooking now. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna add uh, just a half cup of uh, chopped pecans to this. And uh, you have to get a little messy with this probably. You can add more if you want to. It's whatever you like. You only got three sides to cover here. The pecans really add a nice little crunch to this along with the cracker that you might have, have with it. And like I said, add more if you want more pecans on there. It's totally up to you. But that's pretty good. I think uh, that's about how I want it. And uh, we can uh, garnish this now before we serve. I love to use just a little bit of, uh, of sriracha. You can't beat it. So we're going we're gonna to garnish this with some sriracha. Okay, so cracker, knife. No double dipping, people. Get a little bit of a, this uh, salmon dip on there. That's the kind of stuff that makes you crave a beer. Salty, smoky, creamy, a little bit of spice. Um, if you've ever made appetizers, you know that the protein-based stuff is always the first to go. So this is this is going to go quick. That beer pairs perfectly with that. It just cuts the uh, cuts the uh, big flavors in this uh, in this uh, dip just enough to make you go grab another cracker. So. If you want to be serving this to uh, your guests around the holidays or any other time you feel like getting together and kicking a few back, then uh, you can get the recipe at uh, hdnews.net. You can also get it on my website, somethingedible.com. Uh, if you have questions about, uh, you know, you're kind of torn, do I make a log, do I make a ball, um, you can ask me. Um, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Sign up, log in, ask me some questions. I love questions. So uh, anyhow, until next time, uh, y'all uh, enjoy entertaining uh, your friends and, uh, and uh, try this recipe. It's good. Mm.